from my bunk bed in my guest house. So I am currently editing. This is my bed. Look how untidy it is. All my belongings on it. So I've got some really clean bathrooms. My bed. So yeah, in today's video, I thought I'd talk about my memories from my hitchhiking adventure. So I hitched for five weeks exactly. Um, so I hitched 28 times and um, I had about eight free meals which is nuts. Like people are amazingly generous here. Like oh my god, it's like the best place to hitchhike and travel. Um, I visited nine castles which was really cool. I prefer the original, well, obviously the original ones just because the older wood and inside is just so amazing. It's kind of sad when they kind of um, redesign the interior like Osaka Castle and it's not, it's lot, it's modern but it's not how it used to be. Um, I wild camped 20 times. Um, yeah, and I paid for accommodation three times, uh, but other twice, so five, three times inside, two twice at a campsite. So yeah, my top three favourite moments were probably meeting the two couples near Mount Aso, or the volcano, like the hospitality was like, out of this world. I just to pick me up and be like, yeah, we'll take you up the mountain, no worries. And then by lunch, then be like, mm, maybe you could, maybe you could stay with our friends for the night. And then being fed that amazing meal, being able to shower, laundry, share like favorite YouTube videos with them, and then get up in the morning and be cooked an amazing breakfast, and and then get dropped off again. They were just amazing. Like I sent both couples a thank you card. And I'm, I have their lines, which is like a messaging service in Japan, so I'm still in touch with them. Really nice couple. Um, my, another one of my top three moments was probably the wild camp, well, the campsite near Takamori, near Mount Aso again. Just because it, I felt so cosy in my tent and it felt like I was in the middle of nowhere. There were so many stars above me, I was so relaxed. And yeah, I just felt very peaceful just sleeping there. And it felt quite nice to be cold for a change. Because Japan is so hot and humid in the summer. It was so nice to actually be able to, be able to like snuggle down into my sleeping bag, which is really nice. Okay, but my lowest moments is probably when it rains. As you can probably hear the rain now. There's like a typhoon coming to Osaka, so it's just it's rained all day. But yeah, probably when it rains and I'm in my tent, and it's on the one hand it's nice to listen to the rain falling on the tent but after a long time it's just like oh it's too much rain and then the tent gets wet and then you get wet luckily i didn't get soaked but i still got a bit wet sometimes um so yeah rain and wet tent is one of my pet hates while teaching the mosquitoes they suck like my ankles had so many bites around them just because of the gap between my sock and my jeans and when i'd be putting up my tent they just like attack and then sometimes they get in the tent and it's like oh, so it sucks and mm, I don't think I had any worse moments or any moments when I was just like what am I doing like I kept like a medium level of happiness I guess like yeah the entire journey was I never never at one point was I was I like what have I done why am I here like I had a thoroughly amazing experience all the way through my hitchhiking journey. Oh, is that right? So yeah. Oh yeah. The kindness of strangers. Like the, the amount of times people would just approach me and start, well they'd ask probably the usual questions like where are you from, where are you going, how long are you in Japan for? And just the kindness of strangers, just the fact that they would just pick me up and go out their way to get where I wanted to go and buy me like snacks or gifts on the way and like no questions asked and the thing is like when you say bye to like go to the person who's giving you a lift or like let you stay at the house 
They're just like, hey, bye, like as if it's been nothing to them, but it's just the generosity was insane. It's the kindness of strangers here, it's overwhelming sometimes. And oh, yeah, probably the onsens, um, because I love onsens and sento, the public baths here are amazing. When you hitchhike and you're roughing it, just to wander into somewhere and get clean is amazing. And just like the very honest and like sincere conversations I had with the ladies in the bathhouses like you just you're just sitting there in the nude just like washing it's very very natural and I want to I want to find the right word for this but very honest I'll find a better word soon but yeah you're just having a conversation with like a lady and I wish my Japanese was better that is something I if I did again I would wish my Japanese was better but as the conversations I would have with these women they like you know like I learn about their lives they learn about me and the amount of times I would tell them about my story then another lady would join a conversation and they'd be like I think I just love those moments so much but yeah I think those are the moments that I kind of miss about Japan and I'm pretty feeling about getting a hitch so yeah, would I do it again? Of course. I would recommend hitchhiking in Japan to anyone. Because it can be dangerous and I do say go with your gut feeling. But at no point on the trip did I feel scared, nervous, awkward. So yeah, hitchhiking in Japan is amazing. And I